In this video, we will be going over the fundamentals of driving and running an EV3 LEGO robot. The blocks we will be learning about today are found in the green action block tab. The first block we will cover is the move steering block. This is a basic drive block. To change the settings of this block, click here. This gives you the ability to change if you want your robot to drive for a certain number of rotations, for a certain degree, or for a certain number of seconds. If you select on, the robot will drive continuously, whereas if you select off, the robot will stop once it's done the selected distance. Here, you can adjust the steering of the robot. There are two types of turns, including a pivot turn, where the steering is set to 50 in the preferred direction, as seen here, pivoting on the inner wheel, or a spin turn, where the steering is set to 100 in, again, the preferred direction. Next, there is the speed, which to drive forward have positive, and to drive backwards have negative. Then, there is rotation, which would change depending on whether you select rotations, degrees, or seconds in the main tab. This sets your robot to brake or coast. When braking, the robot stops hard, and when coasting, the robot slows to an easy stop once done the selected distance. The default port setting in your drive blocks for the EV3 Mindstorm software programming is B and C. So for simplicity, you should ensure your drive motors are plugged into port B and C on your brick, or change them here. The next block we will use is the tank drive block. This is another drive block. It is different than the steering block because, as seen here, you can adjust both motors individually for your wheels. The faster one side is, the harder you will turn. Otherwise, it is adjusted the same way as the steering block. Next is the large motor block, which controls one large motor individually. It is very important to ensure you have the same motor port letter plugged into your robot as you have selected here. For example, if you have port D selected here, make sure that your motor is plugged into port D on your robot brick. Otherwise, it is adjusted the same as the steering block. This is the medium motor block. It is mainly used for attachments, as seen here. Otherwise, this block is adjusted the same as the steering block. This is the display block, which can be adjusted to add creative faces or designs to your robot screen, as seen here. Next is the sound block, which gives your robot the ability to make a given or play a recorded sound. Finally, there is the brick status light block, which lets you program different colors with your EV3 buttons, as seen here. And that's it! There's your instructions to the uses of the action block tab. Our next video will cover the flow control tab with switches and loops. Good luck programming!